And we back. It's Vash Lombardi. What's happening, y'all? We're taking a look at AJ Epinesa today. Not fully, though, all right? Because I really wasn't going to do this video, but I did get a handful of questions from some people, and they were like, how is AJ Epinesa as a pass rusher? And that brings a different conversation, right? So we know that he's very good versus the run, so we ain't got to go there today. We know that he uh, he plays really well when he lines up inside. We ain't got to go there today because you know, even on this channel, I encourage y'all to do your own research. I wanted to look at him as a pass rusher and as, as i was watching film on the man even i grow as a talent evaluator because if you think about vice from two years ago i hate power rushers or you know rushers that you know that that lack bend or that lack you know quick twitchy speed and things like that it's just not my kind of rusher but with this draft class in particular i'm having to grow um as a talent evaluator so you know you, you should never be in a be in a situation where you can't learn something so um i started watching aj epinesa as a pass rusher right and i kind of like AJ Epinesa as a pass rusher in a sense of, hey, he's going to use his power moves. He's going to bully people. And the result is you want sacks, you want pressures, you want batted passes. AJ Epinesa kind of gives you all that. He gives you those things. He just doesn't do it in a quick twitchy way. He does it in a bully pick on you Debo kind of way, right? So let's take a look at AJ Epinesa pick on people in a very bully Debo kind of way. Of course, we don't encourage um, D linemen to run down the middle of people. We prefer you um, to attack half the man, right? But if you strong enough to run down the middle of people, and that's one of AJ Epinesa's things. He's he's a big, powerful guy, right? He's about he, he's close to in his man body right now. Like when he gets to the league, he'll probably be a little bigger. Um, but he's almost in his man body in college right now. So um that just kind of gives you an idea of where his floor is, right? But if you're the type of cat that can, you can bully people. You can go down the middle of people. We see hands inside. I'm a huge fan of hands inside. And if we could just push to get a pass batted down, right? You ain't got to get a sack all the time. Sacks are cool. Uh, sacks are important when it's time to negotiate your contract, which would be another good reason to get AJ up and Nessa. Maybe he won't get a high sack total uh, to where he can just, you know, demand uh, the biggest contract number i don't think he he's ever gonna lead the league in sacks but you can count on him for a solid 12 to 14 and and that's a good player that's gonna give you 12 to 14 sacks even incorporating um um batted passes jj watt made a living off of running down the middle of people and batting passes they called him jj swat for a reason you know what i mean um AJ Epinesa here. Now look, he's attacking half of the defender here, right? This is what I mean. He's not running down the middle of you guys this time, right? He's attacking the half of my man's here. And of course, we're more powerful if we only gotta deal with half of you, right? We're showing that power again. Boom, 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 strip sack. Can't beat that with a stick player. So when I'm evaluating my quick twitchy rushers, you know, we talk about the long arm move, jab move, stab move, however you want to call it. Here we call it jabbing, right? Um when you look at them jabbing, they, they're 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 creating space so they can do some other quick move, right? Take a look at AJ Epinesa right here. He's gonna hit you with the jab, right? But he's just gonna powerfully jab you, right? He's gonna incorporate um a shove with that jab. And hey, if you're powerful enough to do it, do that, right? Think about what a speed rusher would do. A speed rusher would get up fields he can spin back inside or so he can uh, dip and rip back inside. Something like that, right? Um, swim over the top. But, no, nah, man, if we just going to get to this point the way we long arm it, and I like I like the placement of his hands here, right, because that's very important. We could long arm towards, uh, towards the middle of his chest. We could go to the outside, uh, absolutely. But if AJ Epinesa, which lets me know that he's pass rushing with a, with, a, with a plan here, if AJ Epinesa plans on going inside, it's very important that you get your hand to the inside. Why? Because if we're shoving, we're shoving you outside. We can't shove you outside with your outside shoulder. Nah, we're going to put you're gonna use your inside shoulder your inside armpit get our hands there shove you there and that's where we create the leverage now you pretty much beat here and he, you ain't gotta hold my man's aj like that you 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 kind of gotta let him go in the league that's holding but um that's how aj epinesa beats people with power right what, 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 what's, what's going on in this play same deal, right? Holding my mans again. AJ Epinesa probably would have four sacks this game if they didn't. Okay, the referee threw the flag. Okay, cool. <laughs> he did it, sir. 
Uh, thank you. Right. Get your Iowa State ass off of me. Right. Um, but the same concept, long arm, boom, 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 powerful back inside. I've grown to be a fan of it, man. I've grown to be a fan of AJ Epinesa and his bully tactics. Same move here. And he, hey, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. If he if he's gonna keep letting me inside with this um with this with this long arm shove, then I'm gonna keep going there. I feel like with defensive ends, we got to talk about effort. Edge players, defensive ends, um, motor is a trait that we uh that we covet when we talk about D line, right? AJ Epinesa, I appreciate the fact that he could get blocked, but continue going. Take a look at AJ Epinesa right here, right? Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna get blocked, but nah, but I'm not just gonna stay blocked, right? And you get rewarded with a sack for not staying blocked here. There, there's got to be something to that. There, there, there's got to be a conversation to be had about motor guy or non quit guy, right? Um, and I know it's a lot of defensive ends that'll kind of get blocked and stay blocked and look around and wait and see what happens or whatever. Nah, like keep going and see what happens because you may, you know, you, you, you may get to add a sack to your record, man, you know, um, and this can come down to backup moves, counter moves. And that gives you another indication of a player that's rushing with a plan. If my boom, 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 hands inside move didn't work. Cool. Let me shove and try to get inside and back outside and rip one time. Right. And AJ Epinesa is gifted it with another sack here sometimes you just got to keep going to get to the promised land right it may be hard to get there you may not know where the where the where the promised land is at but sometimes you just got to keep walking and you'll find it a japanese is a good example of i'm gonna keep walking in order to find out where the damn promised land is right and of course it's plenty film of a japanese not needing to get free on the uh second block uh stat nerds help me out how many sacks did, uh, did he have last year i know he had good sack production uh his junior year and his sophomore year so he's getting it done He's getting it done, and he ain't got to be quick twitchy guy to get it done. That's what I like, man. Um, so, yeah, that's my assessment of power rushing, and I think y'all should be proud of me because I absolutely hated power rushers um, a year ago. So, you know, y'all should y'all should salute me for my growth. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah, AJ Epinesa, you also see his long arms here, man. That, that's, a, that's a real thing, too. That's something else that's, uh, that's uh, going to help him being power guy. So, like I said, he's kind of in a version of what his man body would be. Of course, when he gets to the National Football League, he's going to get a little thicker. I may do a follow-up film session on him uh, to just show what he looks like as a three tech um because in my opinion I, I, every year is always a time where i i take a i take a defensive end that's a power rusher that's kind of big and some people say hey let's use him in a in a michael bennett kind of role and i hate that i say nah let's use him in a three tech role let's 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 let this big body this uh this kid that's in his man body right now that's powerful that's quick relatively uh for the inside let him go be a three tech he'll probably be one of the better three techs in the league but you know i guess when you're looking for defensive ends that need um takes priority i guess but aj epinesa i like him let's talk about him in the chat box i'll probably be in the chat box for a smooth 48 hours just to see what y'all are talking about and uh we can have a discussion tell me if you like him if you don't like him uh like i said this ain't a full-blown film session on on him you know we know he's he's good versus run we know he can play inside and i didn't feel the need to show those things i ain't really want to do this film session but i felt the need to kind of discuss him as a power rusher so y'all can see my growth and um you know to see what what kind of moves some people may have been confused on how power rushers pass rush so that's what this video is for all right y'all hold it down for the doski woski man follow me on twitter all social media platforms v-o-c-h-l-o-n-b-a-r-d-i uh the patreon folks salute to all of y'all you know we're giving away merch over there so stay tuned uh nova legion is going to be getting merch um um this month so i i've uh i've talked to him already i'll be shipping his merch out soon uh t rod is going to be getting a shipment soon too so appreciate y'all for being patrons and super chatters all right y'all hold it down for the doski woski and the peace whiskey man salute the youtube illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly i tell them that's subscribing on my patreon just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads basically that means more content for you for less than a bag of almond m ms you can support the channel call dibs on requests for future videos and you can have access to patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions that's patreon.com slash vach lombardi i appreciate the support doski woski salute